Hi there, I'm going to give you an introduction to uh, percussive acoustic playing. And to my mind, there's two main aspects of percussive acoustic playing. There's the string percussion, and then there's the actual body percussion. And to achieve those techniques, it always relies on two simple movements, which is turning your wrist one way or the other. Just like a downstroke, so turning your thumb inwards towards you, or an upstroke, where your thumb sort of goes out. And if you can use that as your foundation to all the techniques, then you'll have a much easier time. Okay, so starting with string percussion, the most basic uh, percussive thing you can do is a basic string slap, which is literally just like a downstroke where you're turning your thumb in or your fingers out, like you were strumming down on the guitar, but instead the side of your thumb, the knuckle of your thumb is hitting against the lower strings to give you a click sound almost trying to create a sort of snare drum sound. And if you take a simple chord and play a very simple strumming pattern, for example, down, up, down, up, and because the string slap is just like a downstroke, you can replace one of those downstrokes with a string slap. So you're keeping pretty much exactly the same movement. So our original pattern was down, up, down, up, but now we can replace the second downstroke with a string slap to make it more percussive and more interesting. And that can obviously work for uh, finger picking as well, just by turning your wrist in. So rather than moving your thumb, you're just turning your wrist with the rhythm, just like a downstroke, to make a percussive click. Okay, and lastly, with uh, string percussion, we can have more of a, a slap bass approach, um, like a bass player would, which is exactly the same idea like the original string slap, where you're turning your wrist, you're turning your thumb into the string to make a percussive click, but this time you're coming away from the string to give it room to breathe or vibrate. And the important movement to get, apart from the wrist turn, is to get a bounce, almost as if you're bouncing a ball. So rather than carrying on with the movement, as soon as you've made contact, you come away using the side of the thumb, aiming for the E string in this example, and turn your wrist to make contact with that E and then come away quick enough to let the string vibrate. And then to start making it more funky or percussive, we can use our left hand to close the string, to kill the note dead so that we can achieve tighter rhythms and just have a nicer sound. And then we can start using our left hand to do exactly the same as we were doing before, a string slap to make another percussive sound. And then to take it even further, as you pull away, we can use our first finger to hook under another string, so the D string in this example, as you move away and pull the string to create a pop sound. 